What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have something a little bit different from you for you guys. I was approached by my good friend Hey Zeus from Instagram, Hey Zeus underscore Customs. If you want to go follow him right now, very nice guy, fellow Cena Mark, by the way. But he approached me and he was like, Hey, bro, I have a cool video idea for you. Why don't you do the top ten desired Alita attires and like tell you guys what accessories it should come with and stuff like that? So I took his advice. I made a list. 10 elites or 10 figures or 10 superstars with like attires that I would like to see released and accessories and so forth. Some of these are um, just figures that I would like to see released, but most of them are attires. But I think you guys will enjoy this video. What I'm going to do is have the figures, I have figures that are similar to what we want or what I want. So I'm going to show those and then uh, pull up a picture of the attire that I would like to see Mattel make. And we will go all the way through until we complete the tent. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, guys, starting things off. First, we have Edge. And this is funny because I actually have two of them. So starting off, we have two different ones. We're going to knock out two first off. Uh, the first one is the Edge Rated R Cashin attire with red kick pads. So if you take this figure, it'll basically be this exact design with the uh, decal on the side right here. But the... Uh, the tights will be black, and then the kick pads will be red. So if you take the ringside exclusive figure, and you remove the logos from that figure, and you put these decals on there, that is what I think Mattel should release. It's the uh, it's pretty much the attire that he cashed in on John Cena with at New Year's Revolution, but with red kick pads instead. That would look really awesome. It's one of his uh, attires that um, it seemed to be pretty prominent. He wore it quite a few times, and as you see from the pictures, um, that is I like one of the top ones that I want of course I'm a huge edge fan and I think that he deserves more elite figures all of his elites are so cool so I definitely want that one and then the other one is an edge unforgiven 2006 from his match with John Cena as you see there with the blue tights and again with the logos on the side and the uh, we actually had a basic we had a basic released with this attire which looks really cool and I, if I can I'll bring up a picture of that as well so if you just take that figure and convert it into an elite that would be really awesome I would enjoy those figures a lot so the first two we have up here are two different edge figures and I think that both of them would be really awesome if they released them the next superstar we have right here is Shawn Michaels and I would preferably love to have a Shawn Michaels from the uh, from like 04 or 05. So the pant designs, just like the DX one right here. I know we had Elite Three, and that was a really cool figure. Um, the head scan was terrible, but this is the head scan that they should use, obviously, um, or even a brand new head scan that's similar to this. Um, I just think that this head scan captures the most likeness to Shawn Michaels. But I want like a uh, ruthless aggression style era. Um, from Raw where he had like the uh, the red, black, and white on his pants and maybe include his entrance gear. Uh, even WrestleMania 24, Shawn Michaels where he fought Ric Flair. We got the DM Ric Flair from that match uh, that wasn't accurate by the way, but I would love to have an attire of Shawn Michaels from that. So as you see by the pictures, I just think that they don't give him any of his cool attires. Of course we had the defining moments with the um, you know WrestleMania 25 attire versus Undertaker and stuff like that, but I think that we really need a Shawn Michaels from um, that 2005 um, style pants with the red, black, and white. I think that would be a really cool figure to release. So the second figure that we, or the third I should say, is a Shawn Michaels from 2005. The next Elite that I think Mattel should release is a Ruthless Aggression era style Shelton Benjamin, preferably from his 04 or 05 Intercontinental Championship run. As you see by the pictures, the white and blue trunks look amazing. I would love to have an Elite in that attire. Of course, here's a Elite Shelton, uh, Shelton Benjamin in a uh, in just plain blue trunks, but it works for the custom and the pick fed. However, I would really love to have that style Shelton Benjamin. Of course, it would come with his little entrance coat. Um, they'd probably make it rubber, which would suck, but it's like his uh, No Way Jose style entrance shirt, and then you would have the Oval Intercontinental Championship to come with, and maybe like a smiling head scan would be amazing, and um, I think now that uh, he returned, I think it's definitely possible that we could get that in the future, maybe even a basic, but um, they're not too big on throwback basics anymore like they used to be, but um, I think it would be amazing if we could get a flashback elite of that style Shelton Benjamin. 
Up next we have two figures, and I think that everybody can agree that we need some any Hardy Elites. I think that any Hardy Elites would be good, but I think definitely since we are getting the epic moments, you know, from where they return to WrestleMania, I think it is by far a desperate need that we need Team Extreme Elite Hardys. Maybe a Elite 2 pack like the Nation of Domination with Rock and Farouk, or even if it's just um two separate elites in the same line that would be fine with me but we definitely need team extreme this is more of an, a team extreme mat right here but i would love to see what mattel can do and if they can do it better and of course this is more of a um you know more uh updated jeff hardy or closer to updated than um team extreme however they definitely need to make some team extreme hardy boys that is definitely uh on my top 10 list of desperate needed elites or elite attires up next we have again another pack and what I would do is release a three pack of M&M. So you'd have John uh, Morrison or Johnny Nitro and then you would have Joey Mercury with his longer hair and in the same attire as uh, John Morrison right here. And then of course you would have to throw in Melina. So what we would have is these two guys and Melina in a three pack whether it be at Walmart or an exclusive or whatever it would be. I would totally pick that up. I think that uh, Joey Mercury definitely deserves a elite and maybe they could come with the SmackDown tag titles. You know, those things are really sought after. So if they re-release them, that would be amazing. And then, of course, they would come with these guys. And maybe even have, like, a... Uh, of course, they would come with their fur jackets. And uh, Melina would come with, um, you know, maybe like a red carpet accessory or something like that. It would be so amazing. Or maybe like a camera for uh, somebody to, you know, take pictures of them during their entrance or whatever. That's probably a high need of mine. I think that would be a really cool... Um, release figure if they would do that so that is another one on the list Eminem three pack Joey Mercury doing a face dive there but Eminem three pack would be amazing the next attire that I would like to see from Mattel is the SummerSlam 2002 Kurt Angle where he fought Rey Mysterio I loved that attire um, from that SummerSlam it had the red and white uh pinstripes and it looks so cool that match was phenomenal as well and we just got proto or not even prototype images we had prototype Im images at sdcc and then we got um some images posted um the other day from ringside that um showed off the figure and i was not happy with that kurt angle the way that it looks the head scan at least um i hope i'm wrong when i get it in hand and it looks a lot better like uh, i said with Corey graves maybe that'll be the case for that but this attire is so sick i wish mattel will release this pinstripe Kurt Angle, I love the way it looked. I always thought it was really clean. The stripes they look on this figure right here, this custom from Showstopper, looks amazing. I can only imagine what Mattel can do um, with their uh, stuff. And, you know, I think they would really hook that figure up. So that is a definite um, attire that I would love to see of Kurt Angle. The next figure we have on the list is this CM Punk. Obviously not this CM Punk, but... A CM Punk from his WrestleMania 26 match with Rey Mysterio. I put this right here because this is the uh, WrestleMania 26 Rey Mysterio. So they made a Rey Mysterio from the match. So why can't they make a Punk from the match? Obviously he had his long hair. They do have a head scan that looks just like um, how he looked in that match. But they have never released the attire. It's like his uh, CM Punk G.I. Joe camouflage attire. It looks so cool. It's really nice. You know that uh, CM Punk's a big fan of G.I. Joe. So... That attire was so sick, and the camo looked amazing, and I'll even pull up a custom picture that Showstopper did of that attire. It looks very good. I would definitely pick that up if they release it. Um, usually, a lot of the punk attires we get in elite form or that we got in the past were not very uh, detailed. They were just, you know, his standard color attires, and um, I would definitely enjoy a G.I. Joe CM Punk. The next attire that I would love to see released is a WrestleMania 20 Triple H. So I think it's basically these trunks with white boots. And I love that match. Very big match. I don't know. I know there was a poll released by Mattel that um, that was one of the choices. And I know that it was picked a lot. So I don't know if they're going to release that figure or if, you know, they're not. But um, I definitely think we should have that figure made. And if they don't make it, I think I will. And um, I think he even wore the white boots at Unforgiven 2004. But definitely WrestleMania 20, um, you know, bigger match. And he would, of course, he would be clean shaven. And he would come with the World Heavyweight Championship because he did lose the title that night. So I think it would definitely be appropriate. Of course, water bottle, accessory, stuff like that. But that would be an amazing. I'm a huge Triple H fan. I have, like, literally, like, 30 Triple H figures. I'm trying to build up the timeline like my John Cena's and Randy Orton's. But, um, yeah, definitely White Boot Triple H would be amazing. 
And the last figure we have on the list here is Randy Orton. It would be a Legend Killer style Randy Orton from Unforgiven 2004. I'm sorry, I do not have my Elite 47 with me. All of my Randy Orton uh, Elites are with BW Animations getting customized. I have like 14 in his possession, and this is the only one I didn't send because it was already accurate. So I kept this one, and it does not have the old school um, Orton look, but Unforgiven 2004 where he fought Triple H as you see there. Of course, he could come with the World Heavyweight Championship as well. I love that attire. The blue with the yellow designs is amazing, and I think that Mattel needs to release um, some colorful Randy Orton um, attires. When they released the Legend Killer Randy Orton, I thought that maybe they would go with one of his color attires, but they did not. Of course, they went with standard black. Um, probably his most boring attire from his Legend Killer run, so that was a disappointment. However, I love that figure. Huge Randy Orton fan, if you didn't know. Second favorite of all time. Um, literally right up under John Cena. But um, I really would love a Unforgiven 2004 Randy Orton. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below. What figures do you want to see Mattel make? Um, definitely send me a message on Instagram or leave a comment down below on what you think Mattel should release, uh, different attires, what elites we should get, stuff like that. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.